Did someone just say objection? It wasn't Von Hey, it was Edgeworth. No. Edgeworth? Your Honor. I object to your judgment. W what do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. Uh, if Ed Yoni Yogi killed Robert Hammond in revenge. For revenge for what? Nick. Edgeworth is trying to confess. He's gonna say he's guilty. Then tell him he was the murderer in the DL6 and snit. He's going to tell them he killed his own dad. Uh-oh, what do I do? The judgment has already been passed. I object to Edward's outburst. Didn't something like this happen yesterday, too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. That would be Larry. We must hear this news test this new statement. We must hear Miles Edward. He's right. If it did him say ah. For 15 years, I have had a recurring dream. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know it wasn't a dream. Yanni Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean in the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer. The criminal in the DL6 incident. It was me. Your Honor. I could- No! No! I am guilty for the DL6 statute of limitation of which ends today. The culprit is me- No- Edgeworth! Oh no, 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 buddy, no. Order, order! This is certainly unexpected. The defendant declared innocent and confessing to a different crime. The crime for the statute of limitations runs out today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. Nah, it's obvious. We hold a trial right here, right now. Oh no. We, we tried this man for his crime 15 years ago. I think I would like to take a five minute recess. This time, I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Question. worth why? Buddy, we were off the hook. We were off the hook, dude. December 28th, 224 p.m. District Court, Defend Lobby, numero 2. Edgeworth, we were off the hook. I'm sorry, right? I just wasted all of your effort. Mr. Edgeworth, I don't believe it, sir. I mean, you... Can you dead? I didn't want to believe in myself, Detective, but... It's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. This is crazy! Just crazy! Uh, hmm? Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. I was just bringing through the court record once more. Making my case ready. Your, your case for what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna prove that Miles Edwards is innocent. Let's go, Phoenix! Huh? What, what were you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. He confessed that he did it in court! I'm sorry, Edgeworth. But I don't believe your nightmare. What? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. Right. Edgeworth, don't stress, dude. I got you, homie. I got you. No stress. Zone. No stress. Zone. December 28th, 2.30 p.m. District Court. Courtroom numero 3. Now then, I would like to resume our trial. Judge, Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let's begin by hearing his testimony. Then, through pointless, the defense... Do... Oh, point... Excuse you? The defense they're cross-examining. A statute of limitation on the DLC incident runs out today. Though it's inconvenient for me, I like to run this one by the book. What is he? The defense have any objections? No, Your Honor. On Karma, you knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Very well. The malls are just take the stand. Will the witness say his name or profession? Miles Edgeworth, I'm a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 15 years ago you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It, it is correct. Now testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. This will be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Please. Please. She's trying to call Mia. No, let me do this on my own, Maya. Just stand there, be supportive. The DL6 incident. That day I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake started trapping us in the elevator. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. 
I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I want them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember to this day. That's all. Hmm. And so now you thought this memory was a dream. We are stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! The claim. The same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Amen. That's right. Your cross examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Hey. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. What was the trial your father was involved in on that day? I don't remember things very clearly. Only two things. I know my father lost, and Mr. Von Karma was the prosecuting attorney. Mr. Von Karma, you were handling that case? It was 15 years ago, I don't remember the details. That was when Etrith pointed out the problem in Von Karma's evidence. As he went to leave, an earthquake struck trapping us in the elevator. So, there were three people including yourself trapped in the elevator. Yes, myself, my father, and Yanni Yogi. We were fine at first, but then as time passed and no one came to help, my father and Miss Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. What did you do then? I was a nine-year-old boy at the time, what could I do? I was scared. Trembling in the corner, but then. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. What was it? A pistol. I assume it was the ball with Yanni Yogi's. The safety must have come off when it fell from his holster. And you picked it up? What happened next? I picked it up and threw it at Miss Yogi. I want them to stop fighting. Did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous, but the air was getting so thick I panicked. So you're saying that you threw the pistol at Mr. Yogi? I was, in a daze. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. The gun fired once? Yes. I think after I, after I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then, they've echoed in my head every day. The gunshot and the horrible scream. The scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. To this day? Yes. I can practically hear it now. I doubt I will ever forget that scream as long as I live. There it is? One part of that testimony clearly contradicts the evidence. But I don't know what it means. I better find out quick. <laughs> so it's none of this. Wait a minute. They said that they pulled one bullet out from his heart. Why is there another bullet hole in the elevator, though? Because, wait, if I'm getting this right, they said this got pulled from his heart. Thing from Gregory Edward's heart. Okay, yeah, from his heart, yes. But then why is there a bullet hole right here in the... in the elevator, though? I don't get that part. They had gone. As he went to leave, my father and Miss Yogi lost their composure. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Miss Yogi. I wanted to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I still remember it to this day. Oh, I want to press this one more time. The gun fired once. Yes. I think. I think. After I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then, it echoed in my head every day. That gunshot and the horrible scream. The scream. It was, a, it was a terrible scream I remember to this day. But you lost consciousness after the gunshot. To this day? Yes. I can practically hear it now. I doubt I will ever forget that scream as long. There it is. I think I got it. Edgeworth? Don't stress G. Don't stress G. Want them to stop fighting? Single gunshot? Terrible scream I still remember to this day. I'm so good at this game now. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Stop. Focus. Focus. This is a serious matter. So there's only one gunshot. Yes, I'm sure of that. I heard the shot and the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. 
No, Your Honor. Unfortunately, you don't. Take a look at this. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime, 15 years ago. And in this corner lies a contradiction to Mr. Edgeworth's testimony. Well, well, I can see the victim Gregory Edgeworth following there. What do you mean a contradiction? Just as I thought, the judge is clueless as always. Show the judge the contradiction in the photo. There's another bolt hole right here. As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a bolt hole in the door. Two slams in a row. Ron! Miles Edgeworth testifies there was only one gunshot. However, according to this photograph, not one, but two shots were fired. One shot hit the victim, the other hit the elevator door. I ask you then, why did Miles Edgeworth only hear one gunshot? This photograph does seem to confirm a second shot. However, when, when, when was the hole in the elevator made? It might have been there before the incident occurred. Bull. If it was then, if it, if it was there before, it has nothing to do with this incident. I can prove it. Mr. Wright, do you have proof this bull hole was caused at the time of the incident? Yes. Your Honor, I will be able to show you proof. What? Impossible. Now, no, Miss Moncala, see if you're surprised after you've seen the evidence. No, Mr. Wright, here is your proof. If you have, that proves the bullet hole in the door was related to this incident. This was in his heart. Mr. Wright, please think how we feel having to look at this evidence. Think time again. Every time you show this particular evidence, I feel well more. Really? Any harm? Not meaning any harm. Not doing your harm are two different things. Try again, Mr. Wright. Oh, wait, crap. That was. Wait, what did I click? Did I click the wrong thing? Wait, did I click the wrong thing? Huh? What do you have that proves the bullet hole in the door was related to the incident? Don't seem to click this. I'll make like this. Take it from Gregory Edwards' heart. Still bear clear ballistic markings. Wait, did I click the wrong thing? The bullet hole in the door was was. What do I have that proves the bullet hole? What do you have that proves the bullet hole in the door was related to this incident? Hmm. And the elevator depleted at time of incident. No clue is found on the scene. Then starting trapped in the elevator. Returned from a lost trial with son, Miles Edward. One bullet found in the heart of the murder weapon. There we go. Got it. There you go. Your Honor, the answer is in this file. See, all I see, I'm not gonna call that a flub because the bullet led me to that. So, I'm technically right. I'm right. I'm cut that as a flub. You do enjoy dragging on that file, don't you? You don't accept this evidence unless you can tell it what page it's on. What page is the link? Ah, crap. Hold on. What page is this on again? Hold up. Elevator. Files fired twice. Victim data. Alright. Bet how. Victim data. Look at the victim data in this file. It says it's quite plain. The murder weapon was fired twice. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot. Yet the murder weapon was fired twice. I'm too clean with it. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went in Gregory Edgeworth's heart, which is the bullet I showed. The other hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he, he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. B Mr. Wright, but who could that someone else be? A murderer, of course. It's you. You killed his father because he ruined your perfect record. I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 instant case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary. That's on page one. Yes. Look what is written there. Not a single clue is found on the scene. On the scene. If the pistol had Dean been fired two times, then the other bull would have been discovered on the scene. He does have a point. That second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet that claimed Gregory Edgeworth's life was the one that fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth. This is what undoubtedly is something else that made that bullet hole in the door. 
Order! I would love order! Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly. The middle weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Kama says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked this second bullet. So all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. <laughs> I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Yeah. How did this happen? I don't believe that a second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been wrong about this whole- No! What are you gonna do, Nick? Why aren't you raising an objection? I I'm sorry, Maya. What? Oh, it looks like I was wrong. Nick? If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for- It's somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere. Somewhere the second bullet exists. I know it does. There's no way. If it's clearly fired twice, the bullet is somewhere. I don't believe it. There has to be a second bullet. You can't just fire one bullet and have two shots. That don't make no sense. Second bullet wasn't there. Then all my conjectures are for nothing. N no. But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get Edward declared innocent. I I'm sorry. It's just when I saw the photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person, someone else who fired the killing shot. But now... I was wrong to think it could be that simple. And this case has still installed for 15 years. Nick? Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Precisely. I would like to ask one thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No. No, I do not. So, you killed your father, but that was not your intention. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh no. He's accepted the guilt. Very well. I charge you with the limitations of the murder of Craig Rieger that runs out today. Therefore, I must pass the verdict on the defendant today, right here. Right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There's so many things I know I should be saying. My mind's gone blank. I can't find the words. That's right. There has to be something. I'm not letting Edra just go to prison. I have an objection. <clears throat> Your Honor. Yeah, I, I, I object. Tis, tis, tisk. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object? Hmm? Oof. Nick? I don't know. His case is perfect. Oh no. Urgh. It must exist. The second bullet. W what? What did you just say? N nothing. The second bullet must exist. Where? Someone took it. My Queen Mia speaking from the grave. It seems waiting is all going to pronounce as any answers from Mr. Roy. Wait, Your Honor. Mm. I, uh, the second bullet. It, uh, it exists. What? But we just heard proof that did not exist. I, I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. Uh, it, it, it's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who? The, the, the murderer. The murderer. And tell us just who is this murderer. I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet. But why? Huh? First of all, how would they have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. But is there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? Let me think here. Because if you shoot him, there's a pistol fired. What if? What if? Cause I feel like I feel like I know what happened. I feel like Von Karma shot into the elevator to kill Edward's father, right? Then Yogi lived, but his father died. So here's what I think happened. I think Edgeworth threw the pistol, and the pistol went out from the elevator, and shot Von Karma. The murderer didn't need it. Wait, 
Well, there's some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet. Well, they didn't have to search for it because all... Because if he shot... The bullet's inside him. He didn't need it. Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for the stray bullet? I haven't got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, um... Bah! The murderer had no reason to take that bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Ah. <sighs> had to take it. Had to take it. The murderer. What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But uh, the murderer had to take that bullet. Had to? Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Well, for instance. For instance, what? Uh, maybe the bullet, uh, hit the murderer? The bullet hit the murderer? I mean, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> just, just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. It, you know. Hmm. Wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head. But what if that really what happened? Let me get this straight. So the time of the murder, the murderer themselves was shot. And they left with the second bullet still inside of them? That is leaving only one bullet to see in the crowd. Uh, yes. I guess that's how it would work, yes. But there's a problem with that. The other two people rescued from that elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi, were both in harm. So that would mean... The murderer came from outside. Yes. And it's the hoe across from me. I'm telling you, I'm in there. I'm in the- I mean, I'm in these hoes' head. The two men fight inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges, and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. The boy loses consciousness. And then another bullet is shot. The murderer opens the elevator door and sees the men inside. Kills. Mmm. Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defensive city I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, yet I can't tell the possibility of what you say. Because it, the bullet's in him. We know he did it. It's in him somewhere. What are you saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved with the incident was wounded. There was no murderer. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. Can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick. Huh? I just thought of something really crazy. Crazy? Remember what Mr. Grosberg said yesterday? Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to- I'm on him. I'm reading this man like a book. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Why if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of the shock? But the vacation was because he got injured. That would explain the vacation. Which would mean, it could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. It was Von Karma. Oh, man. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. Uh, no, Your Honor. Well, you have, you have indicated the possibility that the murder came from outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Uh-oh, should I come out now? Sure. Why not? Your Honor. There's a suspect. One lone suspect. Well, send these interesting news. Hey, well, Mr. Wright, who is your suspect? Uh, my hands are shaking. 